Hello everyone, this is me Manoj, your English coach. Welcome to Love English and in today's video, I will be posting on the mistakes that a lot of people make it and if you make any of these mistakes, I request, not request, I order you to stop making uh, any of these mistakes if you are making it. Why? Because I want you all to speak English naturally, of course fluently and confidently. So let's right jump into it. Into it. The first is focusing on grammar. So I would say um, most of the people, most of the students I have met, they make all of these mistakes or maybe they are making a lot of mistakes. Why? Because they focus too much on grammar. Let's understand that learning grammar and spoken English both are different. You might have good command over grammar, but I can bet that you cannot speak English properly. If you're speaking, if you really want to speak English properly in a natural way, in a confident way, you don't have to focus too much on grammar. Ask yourself, do you, I'll just ask this question to yourself. Do I really know my um, mother tongue grammar? For example, my mother tongue is Hindi and I do not have any idea about uh, its grammar. But I can speak fluent, fluently. Same goes here as well. So do not focus too much on grammar because it, grammar is too vast. See, if you are preparing for any competitive exams, if you are preparing for school examinations, go and read grammar because grammar is important in those in all of those competitions in all of those exams but if you are really looking forward to learning english in an effective manner in a natural manner stop reading grammar so, uh, maybe sometimes you can just go and check back and just see uh, some concepts there so that you know you can, you can have knowledge but if you really want to speak start reading stories any article of your interest read something you are interested in do not focus on grammar because grammar is vast and many topics you might get confused you might before speaking you might think about the rules you might uh, frame the sentences you might translate into your head and this is not how we learn english so stop reading grammar do not focus too much on grammar it's completely fine like i always say in all of my lessons and in all of my videos make mistakes completely fine nobody is going to kill you that's just completely fine after some period of time, you will realize, you will go back, you will correct your mistakes. So this is how we learn. So no, don't focus please on grammar more. I'm not saying that stop focusing on grammar, but start reading something. Second is forcing speech. Since I'm emphasizing more on here, learning or speaking English naturally, don't force yourself because when we force something, we don't learn that much. Um, if somebody tells you, okay, fine, why don't you just go and finish this um, novel, I might be offended and I, I would be like, oh, really, do you want me to read this novel? That's not going to happen because I hate reading novel, man. Whenever I pick up any novel, I feel sleepy. So don't force me. Similarly, if I force speech on someone, if I force speech on me, that I got to talk in English all the time. It, it, it has to be naturally. It has to be naturally. If I want to force myself, that's completely fine. But it should not be like burden. It should not be like oh pressure. And of course, we do not. Um, we are not pressure cooker after all. If I put pressure on myself, it would be like uh, I'm not enjoying the full process of learning the language. So you are learning the language. You are not there. Uh, you are not there uh, to pressurize yourself. So do not force speech on yourself. Just be natural. It's completely fine. You make mistakes. Keep on making mistakes. But don't force um, speech on yourself. Third is um, learn only from textbooks like uh, this thing I will connect with the first one. A lot of people think that, oh, we've got this grammar book, this textbook. I'll read this textbook first. I'll attempt all the quizzes, all the grammar here. And after that, I will be able to speak. No, but that doesn't work like that. Textbooks are only with a native English speaker. They don't read textbook, first of all. And just ask yourself, did you really read? Did you really read um, uh, in order to learn your mother tongue? Did you really read the textbook in that language? Of course not. We all listen to the people around us. We um, started listening. We started speaking when we were all kids. So same rule applies here as well. Do not just read the textbooks because textbooks are like formal and we have to focus on casual English so that we, I can hold conversation with everyone. And the fourth is trying to be perfect. Come on, man. It's not going to happen. Um, why? Because even now, even native English speakers, they are not perfect. They make a lot of mistakes and that, that's completely fine. Don't try to be perfect. Don't try to mug up all the grammar rules. Don't try to 
alone, difficult or dragon boats. No, it's not going to happen. It's completely fine. Like I always say, make mistake come on. Man, I mean, there, there are many words in, in the English language, uh, close to million. Um, so it's next to impossible to memorize all of these words, their meanings, and use them to the conversation. You just need between five and five thousand and ten thousand words to speak English fluently, confidently. So don't try to be perfect. It's completely fine. Next is relying on English school. Now people here think that if we can, if we study in English school or if we send our kids to the English school, they might learn English. To some extent, I would say yes because they all speak. They try to they try to force on students, but this doesn't work out, and this doesn't work like this. Here again, I will be saying if you really want to write in, in English, you've got to be natural. So it's not. That you are not studying in English um, college, university, or school, you cannot learn English. You can learn English. There are several ways: read, write, speak, listen. Read, write, speak, listen. Anything that you are interested in, and this is how you can do it. And the next is you are afraid of making mistakes. So I have already covered this point earlier. Make mistakes. Go back. Type your mistakes. It's not oh I made the mistake now I'll keep on making the mistake. No, it doesn't work like that. And you should not be doing that. Make mistake. Realize your mistake. Go back and correct your mistake. I always do that. I always do that. And if you are doing that, this means yeah, you are improving yourself. After that, comparing yourself with others. Oh my gosh, you know we both started uh, learning English together. Now you know he speaks really fast. He is fluent. He has got confidence. Oh, but I have not done all of these things, and I feel really negative about me. So do not compare yourself. Maybe he is practicing more than you do. Or you you are doing, maybe you are you are just uh, devoting two hours a day. Maybe he is just you know devoting more time than you. It's not devoting more time, but he might be talking to people now. He might be going out, and he might be talking to people, um, right or wrong, who knows? So that's why do not compare yourself with others. This is uh, not done. Don't do it. Uh, the next is um, choosing something which is of not your level. So I think this also I covered earlier. For example, I am in class twelve, and I picked newspaper, maybe novel, and that was my first time reading new uh, newspaper novel. Oh, come on, if you are reading something for the first time, you should not be picking something which is uh, not not your level. So if you are picking something which uh, you are not interested in, which you think is difficult, don't pick that thing. If you like reading stories. Short stories. Even if you don't like reading short stories, but I would suggest you to go and read short stories. Be why? Because you will understand almost everything. And when you understand everything, of course, you'll enjoy the process. Read comics. Listen to cartoons. Watch cartoons. Read subtitles. You'll enjoy. Don't force yourself to read newspaper. Come on, because it's not going to happen. Maybe after some time you can read newspaper. You can read blogs. You can read random stuff on online or maybe offline. Whatever you want to do it, but uh, do not. Choose a wrong material for yourself. According to your level, you should pick. The next is not making time for it. So finally, you decide. Oh yes, I'm gonna be learning English. You know, I'll be speaking fluent English. I will be. Uh, I can do it in just 90 days, or maybe next six months, or maybe in a year. I'll be fluent, and uh, you know, I'll just learn it. So this is your plan before starting the journey, and after in the, uh, maybe after a month or two. You are losing your interest in it. Maybe you are not making time for it. You are saying, "Oh man, you know what? I'm swamped in my work. Uh, I'm, I'm not getting time to do it. Maybe I'm just, you know, I've been working for like 10 hours a day in office. I've got a lot of assignments, a lot of projects, and maybe I'm going to the school. I've got a lot of homework, and I am so sorry, I cannot make time for it. Come on, it doesn't work like that because you will be busy all of your lives, whether you are in school, college, university, or maybe you are working professional." We all got 24 hours. We all got. Oh no, uh, I don't have to preach here. Make time for it. That's all. Just make time for it and ask yourself why I started the journey, why I wanted to learn English back then. Yeah. So if you get the answer, you will do it well. Yeah. And the last one, disheartened. Oh my gosh, you know I started learning English, but I don't understand it. Mm, I don't understand what I read. I don't understand the conversation. I don't understand the podcast. So oh, I don't understand at all. So don't get disheartened. Sometimes I also. that's my head oh, okay what is this and i don't understand the conversation i don't understand this stuff novel um, newspaper i don't understand so it's completely fine don't get disheartened just because of one or two things you cannot just 
leave your uh, english learning journey don't do it it's completely fine if you don't understand something just go back and see uh, is, is this of my level oh no this is not of my level so let's change that thing first and in this process you will not be disheartened these are the mistakes if you are making i am sure you will be making some of one of these at least not all of these but yeah some of these you must be making so let's absorb all of these things and of course start learning english start learning new skills update yourself and see you in the next video everyone